Hello everyone, I hope you're having a good day. This is part two of your topic lesson today and we're going to be looking at the first moon landing. Your learning intention is to write facts about the first moon landing. On your home learning, you did have a sheet with spaces for you to fill in those facts. If you haven't printed it out though, that's fine. You can just write them. So to start off with, we're going to have a think. What do you think it would be like to travel into space? Have you ever wanted to travel to the moon? What do you think space travel is like? And why is it important to travel these places? Pause the video here to have a think. You don't need to write these down. You can just have a think to yourself or talk to whoever's with you at home about these different questions. So if you did write anything down, then you can upload it to Padlet or email it to us, or we can have a chat about it when we're all back at school together. So the first spacecraft to land men on the moon was called the US Apollo 11. It took off in July in 1969 and it traveled through space for three days before it landed on the moon. Here is a picture of it at the side. You can see how big it is. Um, I think this was the moment that it launched. You can see all the fire and smoke at the bottom as well. So there were three men on the Apollo 11. There was one man called Michael Collins who stayed in the command module which orbited the moon. It means it went round the moon in an orbit. Um, he stayed there, he didn't actually step out onto the moon. The other two men set off to explore the moon in the lunar module. So it kind of detached and went off to the moon. And there is a picture of the lunar module. So this is what um, landed the two men onto the moon. So the lunar module flew down slowly to land on the moon. Nobody knew what the surface of the moon would be like because obviously no one had ever been there before. They were very believed that the spacecraft didn't sink. They found that the surface of the moon was firm. Spacesuits, so there is no air on the moon, so the astronauts needed to be protected. They wore special spacesuits like this one here. Um, and you can see that there's a big spacesuit and it's got lots of labels on it. So there was a camera, obviously they had air supply so that they could breathe on the moon, a visor and a microphone and a drink tube. And they had a radio pack as well. They had gloves. They had an inner suit with liquid running through it to keep them cool. And a thick suit with many layers to protect the astronaut in space. And we've got big space boots at the bottom as well. So this is all about the first steps onto the moon. So the hatch opened and the first man on the moon stepped out. His name was Neil Armstrong. I'm sure a few of you have probably heard his name before. He's a very famous man. The second man then stepped onto the moon and his name was Buzz Aldrin. So here's a picture of Buzz Aldrin. It says Neil Armstrong took this photograph of Buzz Aldrin. The men only had one camera between them and Neil took most of the photographs. So this is a picture of him up on the moon. When Neil Armstrong took that first step onto the moon, it was reported that he famously said, that's one small step for man and one giant leap for mankind. What do you think he meant by this? You can pause the video and um, you can have a discussion with whoever's with you or you can write down your ideas. Why do you think he said that? What do you think he meant when he said that? Pause the video to have a go now. Well done for having a go at this question. We'd love to hear what you thought. So working on the moon. Neil and Buzz worked hard on the moon, collecting samples of rock and dust for scientists on Earth to study. They also took lots of photographs like this photo of Earth. So they were standing on the moon when they took this photograph and they were looking back at Earth. They also put up an American flag when they were on the moon. When their job was done, they fired the rocket engines of the lunar module to rejoin the command module. Then the crew set off for home. Two and a half days later, Apollo 11 splashed down safely in the Pacific Ocean. There's a picture of it. So it landed back safe onto Earth and it landed in the ocean. So this is the sheet that will have been on your um, home learning plan. If you haven't 
got the sheet printed or anything like that, that's absolutely fine. I don't mind if you draw the pictures and you can write next to them. If you do have the sheet, then you can write on the sheet, obviously. So you're going to write captions to explain each of these pictures. Now, what you can do, if you get a bit stuck on one of them, then you can rewind the video back to when we looked at these pictures and um, watch it again, and it might help you write a caption for the different pictures, okay? Now, what I thought would be really fun for the end of this video, um, I managed to find a video of the actual landing of the moon. Now, the camera quality isn't very good. It's quite an old um, video now. So this picture here, this is where one of the videos will play. And on this side, they've managed to kind of restore the video a little bit. So it's a bit easier to watch. Um, it lasts about a minute and you can see kind of if you look here, this is actually one of the astronauts. So you can see it's a bit blurry, but he does step down onto the moon. So I thought that we could watch that now together. Back up to that first step. Uh, it's, uh, that not collapsed too far, but uh, it's adequate to get back up. Right, you're pretty good little jump. Yeah, that's pretty good. 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 Yeah, that's Okay, Neil, we can see you coming down the ladder now. Okay, I just checked uh, getting back up to that first step. Uh, it's uh, not even collapsed too far, but uh, it's been that's one small step for man, one giant leap for man. <laughs> There we go, there's that video of Neil Armstrong stepping onto the moon for the first time and that famous saying of his. Um, I hope you enjoyed learning about the first moon landing and we will see you very soon.